The Maple Leaf season is upon us in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and there's nine different DIY items that you can get. Let's teach you everything you need to know about this wonderful time of year. How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here, bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today's video is showcasing all about the Maple Leaf season. Now this is a limited season that only comes around once a year, so all of you guys that are traditional players, you need to take heat on this stuff because these materials are going to be used for many different DIY recipes. So. Let's jump on it. It's going to be amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Now, if you guys have not already hit that subscribe button, I please ask you guys to do so. It's absolutely free. And little did you know that only 41% of my entire viewer base are actually subscribed. Isn't that insane to think about? So anyway, hit that subscribe button, join us. We're on our quest to 1 million subscribers. Now, there's a lot of tips and tricks tutorial videos on the channel right now. I would love it if you guys would take a look at them because they're still relevant, especially all the mushroom videos. And then one of the other videos that I do want to give you a heads up was the new autumn DIYs. Now, there's going to be a little bit of information on that one that will help you guys understand what other crafting materials are available throughout the autumn season. As usual, we respect your time, so feel free to navigate the video as you see fit with the timestamps provided on screen and in the chapters on the nav bar below. We're going to show you guys exactly what the maple leaf dates are, we'll show you guys how exactly to get maple leaves, what the DIY recipes are, all the nine items available, we'll show you the customization options, and then we'll end off with an in-house showcase. So let's kick off this tutorial with a little bit of what is going on with these leaves, right? You're gonna be able to see two different types of leaves floating around. You're gonna see the ones that just kind of wave all the way down and they don't have a shadow. And you're also going to be finding leaves with a shadow that are just fluttering by. Now this is the maple leaf season that I'm talking to you guys about. And it's only a very small window. Now the window for the Northern Hemisphere is going to be November 16th through November 25th. And if you guys are in the Southern Hemisphere, that is going to be April 16th through April 25th. Now this is the only time in which you can farm these seasonal materials. So you better get out there with your little bug net and head on over and make sure that you guys sneak up on it and then let go. You don't necessarily have to sneak, but the thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to run into it or allow the leaf to blow into you. It's not a good thing when that happens because then it'll absolutely fade away. So don't do it. So now you guys know exactly what's going on with the maple leaf dates, right? So how are you going to farm a bunch of these? How do you go about getting these materials? Now, I've already shown you guys that it's super simple because all you have to do is keep your eyes peeled. And right now I got two of them on screen. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna catch it. And we're gonna see that other one in the distance over here and I'm gonna run and catch that one too. It's so, so, so easy to get these crafting materials. They're all over the place and it's only available during this window. So here's two in a row. I could have sworn I saw one like right around the corner here. Look, three in a row, boom. Now, believe it or not, if you wanna craft every single one of these nine items in the tutorial, you're gonna need approximately 51 of these maple leaves. So. I caught three of them in a matter of a minute. You just keep on doing that, walking around your town, running around, making sure that you don't run into anything so that they despawn. You don't want that to happen. So keep your net out while you're just kind of doing your chores, doing your Animal Crossing stuff, and you never know when exactly one of them will spawn around. So just keep your eyes peeled and go from there. So let's talk about DIY recipes that are seasonal. Now, all seasonal DIY recipes exclusively come from balloons. Yes, that is 100% correct, according to the Animal Crossing Companion Guide. So with that being said, make sure that you always have a slingshot in your inventory and you are ready to hit these balloons down because this is the only way that you're gonna get seasonal DIYs. But here's the kicker about this. And it's a little bit unfortunate for those of you guys that are traditional players. The Maple Leaf recipe window for Northern Hemisphere was October 1st through October 10th. And for the Southern Hemisphere, that was April 1st through April 10th. So what's the deal with that? For Northern Hemisphere, that's like last month. Like we missed out on it. Like there's no way that we can get these DIY recipes right now. It's just, it's not a possibility. So if you're gonna be shooting down DIY recipes during this time, you will absolutely only have a chance of getting the mushroom ones, which again, if you guys watch my mushroom tutorial video, that's from November 1st through November 30th. And if you guys are in Southern Hemisphere, that's May 1st through May 30th. So 
Anyway, it's a little messy, and I don't really appreciate that it was like that. I think, honestly, it was m maybe like an oversight on the devs' part. I don't know. But that window should be available when these leaves are falling down. Just saying. So, don't worry, guys. If you guys are traditional players, I got you covered. I've got tons of these DIY recipes that we're going to be giving out throughout the upcoming weeks just to make sure that you guys are all taken care of. I'm going to be hosting live stream giveaways for this stuff, so make sure that you guys are on board with hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. Those of you guys that are custom approach players that have a more liquid kind of way of playing through time, you can go back in time through April for April 1st and continue to shoot down balloons in order to get these nine DIY recipes. So here we are. These are the nine items within the maple leaf set. Every single one of these items requires maple leaves in order to get. So if you have any of these DIY recipes, congratulations, you are awesome. For those of you guys that don't, don't worry. We got you covered. We'll hook you up with some at another time. All right, anyway, here we go. So the very first one is going to be the Trees Bounty Arch. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a dangling berry right over there. Pick it. Um, it also has uh, like the leaves and everything else. It, it's a cool arch, so you can kind of walk through it. You can do whatever you want. Next up is going to be the Trees Bounty Big Tree. This thing has all sorts of nuts on it. Go for it. And it's got a little bit of leaves, a little bit of buttons, kind of fun decorations. It's very festive. Uh, my favorite item in the set is the Pond Stone. This is the Maple Leaf Pond Stone. It's got like three little leaves on it. You can just sit around and watch it. Honestly, one of the coolest things that you can put on the outside of your town, just kind of like floating around, looks really natural. Next up is going to be the Leaf Stool. Leaf Stool, it's three-pronged. You can sit on it and have a good time. Sit on it right next to the Pond Stone. Trust me, you'll love it. All right, uh, right over here is going to be the Red Leaf Pile. This one is, it's a leaf pile like all the other leaf piles in the game, just recolored. And if you do run around in it, it does give you a little crinkle feeling and some leaves do actually pop up. Very fun. All right, in case you guys like umbrellas, you can see over here that this is going to be the maple leaf umbrella. And it's pretty fun. So in case it's ever raining in the fall or snowing, whatever, you can just show your pride, right? And then last but not least is the little maple leaf pochette, which is going to be a little purse thing that you can wear and you'll look really festive in autumn, right? Go for it. All right. Now, two things that I can't really show you guys is going to be the colored leaves flooring and uh, the autumn wall. Colored leaves flooring over here, as you can see on screen, shows that you need 10 of these crazy little maple leaves in order to craft it. So that's a lot to do. And likewise, with the autumn wall, you're also going to need 10 of them. So again, in review, if you want to craft all of these, of course, you'll need some miscellaneous items throughout the way, but you will need at least 51 maple leaves. So get out there and go catch them. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab every single one of these items. We're going to go take it to a customization bench. And then on the customization bench, we are going to indeed find out which one of these are customizable, especially for those of you guys that have not seen the previous video where we showed you some of the brand new autumn items. So I'm going to head over there and uh, we'll see you guys then. But before we do, remember, this is going to be a little try not to laugh challenge and you guys are all going to fail. Okay, out of the nine items, only three of them are customizable. I don't expect the autumn wall or the flooring to be customizable. The maple leaf umbrella, that would have been cool to have maybe a different color leaf, maybe. Uh, the little pochette, maybe a different color one. The red leaf pile, sure, there's already items that are called different color leaf piles. Um, but the maple leaf pond stone, I would have liked to have seen like maybe some moss stone coloration or like some really, really dark stone. But anyway, we get what we can get, right? So uh, the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the leaf stool. This I honestly like, and I thought it could have been incorporated with all the rest of the items, right? You have a brown leaf, you have a red leaf, a yellow leaf that looks actually really, really sharp, and then you also have a green leaf. So, like, come on. Green leaf, it's kind of like the icon for Animal Crossing. Couldn't we have that in some other things? Whatever. I digress. The leaf stool looks pretty cool with the customization options. All right, so now I heard that you guys like nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you guys are a big fan. Big fan. Here we go. Ladies and gents, I present to you nut colors yes yes let's go anyway so whatever flavors of nuts you like like right over here dude you got white nut and you got brown nut whatever you want to do so like brown nut you can see him just kind of like that thing's like dangling over there and cool or you make a little little white one all right i i, I think i'm done 
we're done. Tree's Bounty. You also have your coloration of nut colors. Brown or white? Take your pick. Nut color? Really? Like, honestly, the nuts aren't really changed. Well, they, I mean, they are. I mean, take a look at these nuts and you'll see that these colorations are absolutely changing. And could there have been a different word for it? I don't know, man. Maybe it's just a joke with the dev team. They're like, all right, whatever. Anyway, so now that we're here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the basement. We are going to then um, take a look at all the different items in a nice little item showcase, and we're going to have a good time with it. So how many guys failed the try not to laugh challenge? Anyway, we'll see you on the other side. Okay, here we are, ladies and gents, the in-house showcase of all the maple tree items within the game. And since it is mushroom season, I decided to get a little bit more mushroom friendly over here. So anyway, as we can see on screen, there's tons happening. The one thing that I do want to show you guys that is probably my favorite part about this entire room is honestly the animated wallpaper over here. This is the autumn wall, and as you can see, the leaves do indeed fall on it. And as you're listening over here, you'll be able to hear like the crunch of the leaves of the colored leaves flooring. Very, very fun. So we've got the little mushroom table and I threw the little maple leaf umbrella over there. We also have the maple leaf pochette that I threw here. You've got the trees bounty big tree right over here in your favorite brown flavoring. And then uh, next over here is going to be the arch as well. Also in brown nut. You love it. Uh, one of the things that I do also want to show you that as soon as you walk in, we've got this little leaf pile. And the last thing is going to be this here. This is going to be our leaf stool. I like this because I wanted to make this the focal point of the room. As soon as you walk in, you can see that, hey, you know, if you want a little zen moment, a little bit of time to yourself, by all means, right over here, you can just take a look at the maple leaf pond stone while sitting on your maple leaf little stool and just overall have a nice zen time. Well, there we have it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. We've got tons more Animal Crossing coming your way. And if you guys have any ideas of maple tree items or maple leaf items, by all means, send me a little video at Abdalination. I'd love to see your ideas. It's going to be super fun. So anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you guys enjoy this stuff, I would love it if you guys would share it. If you guys have a Facebook group with a whole bunch of Animal Crossing, traditional players, custom players, whatever, now's the time to get this shared. So thank you for all of that. Thanks for subscribing. And if you guys want some more tips and tricks tutorial videos, right here, click on this. It's the full playlist. You guys will learn so much. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.